I'm Brian Edwards. Edwards reaches up and grabs it. And this is my draft story. Growing up in South Carolina, it's, uh, it's a different experience, man. It's just very family oriented, you know, just sticking together, always being together. It's kind of like my family is like glue to me. Just growing up, football was part of my family. So just since birth, it was kind of put into my hands, you know. My grandfather, he played at Clemson. Everybody in my family played football, so it was kind of just like there. It was like the perfect match, honestly. I got to come in and play as a true freshman. I think I was 18 years old, like bright eyed, made a lot of plays, broke a lot of records. Like it was a dream, man. I got my name on the stadium, like so my legacy there will live on forever, man. So like, you know, when I when I take my son to that school, he gets to see my name up there and just know like that, you know, your father did this and you know, you can do anything you put your mind to too. So it's just it's special. The great shutdown of 2020 Major is underway. Major cities across the country are looking more like ghost towns. America's testing crisis is yes. really the lead. This the draft will move to a fully virtual format. We know it's going to be unlike any other draft that you've ever seen. Oh man, that was that was really a crazy time in my life. Like a lot of emotions, especially with COVID and and just being put in one place for a, a long period of time. You can't go out and distract yourself with all these certain things. So. In the pre-draft, um, kind of like when you're working out for the combine and all those things, I actually broke my foot. And, you know, the combine is kind of your, your platform where you, you show the scouts, like, who you are and what you can do. And I was really, like, looking forward to doing that because I felt like that would make me a, a first-round talent. And breaking my foot, not allowing me to participate, you know, it, it, it tore me up. Like, it honestly scarred me. Like, I remember sitting in the doctor's office, the doctor told me I broke my fifth minute of tar, so I'm, I'm on the phone, I'm, I'm crying, my mom, I'm thinking it's all over, like, what's next? Like, undrafted, I really don't, I really didn't know, so, having to go home and just sit with that and kind of have that on the front of my mind the whole time and not being able to go work out or be around my teammates or just do anything, I just had to kind of sit with that reality and that, that uncertainty in it. It ate me up, like honestly it did. Like a lot of dark days and a lot of dark nights in, in that room in college and like a lot of times I try to forget, but it made me who I am, you know? How did you deal with the adversity? Do you think it was meant to happen? You know, you never want to say a bad thing is meant to happen, but I felt like it was. Like I felt like that was God like slowing me down. Cause, you know, your whole life you're told, hey, you're this person, like you're destined to be this, like, you kind of lose sight of the things that are in front of you and like, just like the everyday things of life. So, you know, that moment really sat me down and say, hey, like, just like I gave all this to you, I can take it away. So I definitely felt like it was meant to happen. And then draft day rolls around, you're drafted round three. So mm -hmm. detail every experience from day one, your nerves, who's with you, who'd you call? You know, just talking to my agent, he was just saying like, yeah, probably day two, you know, round three, round four, those mid rounds. And just the person I am, like, I wanted like so bad to, to be drafted in the first round. Like that was one of my dreams. Like I was working extremely hard to be in that first round and, and it, it was killing me that I couldn't be in it. So, you know, that day I was with my girlfriend's family, my son, and, um, I was just watching day one, man, seeing all the guys go and just like knowing in my head, like, you know, I should, I should be, you know, in that moment, but it was like, you know, just something you had to deal with, something I had to sit there and take in, like, and let this be like that motivation for me. So day one went, day two came. I don't even remember, like, honestly, I try to block it out of my mind. But uh, I just remember day two coming, sitting there on the couch. Like uh, the second round goes, I see a lot of guys at my position go that I just didn't feel like were better than me. 
round three comes and I, I, I really got this feeling. I wanna say the Raiders had two picks and then Buffalo had a pick, but uh, Lynn Bowden went and I just had this feeling like that I honestly was about to get drafted. I felt like, I honestly felt like I was going to Buffalo, but coach called me and the rest is history. You know, I'm here, I'm a Raider. Hello? I'm doing good. Appreciate it, coach. All right. With the 81st pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Brian Edwards, wide receiver, South Carolina. I remember, I, you know, with social media and all those things, my phone was just blowing up. But I just remember, like, you know, hugging my girlfriend, looking at my son, having some of my best friends there with me. So, like, I was just kind of soaking in that moment and, like, just kind of unwinding, like, it's finally over. Like, I know where I'm going, I know what's next. Like, so I was just relieved, honestly. The saying in itself, like, to be a Raider, like, it's that toughness, it's that resilience, it's that, just that, that mentality, like, let's go take it. Everything about the silver and black fits me. You know, the personality of the silver and black fits me, like, almost like I was born where silver and black, you know? The NFL is no joke, man. Just trying to, you know, find your way not only on the football field, but in life, because you come from college, you come from structure, you come from, you know, you having everything planned for you. Now you're in the real world, you're trying to navigate through life, you're trying to navigate through football, and you also have all these people coming to you because of this newfound fame you have. So I had a lot of like struggles just trying to navigate through that and just trying to find myself. What helps me stay grounded is, you know, my family. Um, my son. My girlfriend. Um, my close family, my mother, my father, my sister. Just having those people around me and knowing I have a support system around me. Um, it helps me, man. It really, it just keeps my, my head clear and my mind focused so I can just continue and just, you know, fighting and continuing trying to be the best I can be. Deep that field, that is caught and taking it to the end zone is Brian Edwards. Touchdown. I just feel like year three is the year it all comes together for me. You know, I almost get like emotional talking about it just because I'm so excited and I'm so just ready to kind of just, just prove myself, honestly. I spent a lot of time, I spent a lot of time just working, man, and, and waiting for this moment. You know, when I get my opportunity, I plan to take full advantage and, you know, you get this feeling like you don't feel like anybody can stop what's about to happen, so. You know, I'm just ready.